guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ashley if you are new welcome and if you're not new thank you for coming back for another video so in today's video we're going to be taking a second look at Charlotte Tilbury okay I did a <laughs> first impressions on the pillow talk palette I will be putting that in the eye so definitely check it out but my experience with that palette was less than stellar okay so I decided to give her a second chance and pick up the icon palette and here is a quick look at the inside of the palette so if you want to see how this palette performs on my eyes how I achieved this look and also get a quick look at her um, her new product called her latex lips then or her latex love lip glosses then definitely stay tuned all right guys charlotte tilbury take two i was so on the fence i told myself i ain't buying another one of her palettes and i think i'm lightweight salty about the sephora um handling of it versus her palette per se because you know it is what it is but if i get hard pan on a palette and i reach out to you even if i got it with your little like rouge reward i feel like you should at least give me some sort of compensation back in the form of a like a reward rebate or something and i know their rules and regulations don't allow for that but still like they gave me like 250 points in my bank you know to you know in your little points bank but still like I feel like I got maybe a defective pillow talk palette so this is the palette that I had you know reviewed a few last sometime last month and I feel like this shade is like defective or something like it's got hard pan already and whatever so we're <laughs> so I decided I was like well maybe that's what it, it was just effective so you know I'm gonna go in and buy the icon palette and at least since i paid my own money for it if i don't like it i can get take this sucker back okay so here's what it looks like it's very beautiful i was concerned that this shade and this shade would be too light for me because like i said in my charlotte tilbury video um or you know the video where i used that pillow talk palette i'll link it up here it looks like um the 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 tone of that pillow talk palette looked different on different websites and the darkest shade in the palette looked a little bit darker on different websites whatever so i was concerned that this would be the same issue but when i got it in person yesterday it looks like the tones are going to be rich enough for me to get a good look and obviously these you know will be fine she structures her palette in columns so i guess theoretically not theoretically like each column is supposed to be you can get a look with each column so we've got the day eyes column the date eyes column the diva eyes column and then the disco eyes column and so you can use theoretically every shade in that in that column to get a full look I'm not gonna go in with those instructions because I feel like some of the columns like I would never put those shades together like for a complete look I would actually pull more in to get a little bit more depth in my crease and things like that so maybe if you're a lighter skin tone you can probably use that little guide those little guidelines if you need them but I'm gonna be going all across the columns so eyes have been primed with my NYX uh, my NYX eyeshadow base and the NYX can't stop won't stop concealer I'm, not, I'm gonna use my Wayne Gus number three I'm going into the a smoke shade in the diva eyes column and I'm thinking this will be a transition shade for me and actually it's working really nicely as a transition you see it laid down a little slight bit of color like this is already giving me more more color than that pillow talk palette did and that all over in the transition area and just dragging that up almost to the brow bone next going in with my Wayne Goss number four in the smoke shade of the day eyes column that's what I'll call these like day smoke diva smoke see that's a nice shade Ooh wee this is nice I like this just blending out so nicely if you like somebody who likes to do a one-tone eyeshadow look and you're my skin tone you can get a nice like rusty eyeshadow look you know with this one tone all over the lid add a little inner corner highlight and you're good to go 
This is so much better than the Pillow Talk palette. All right, so I think I'm gonna go in Date Enhance, and I'm gonna put this all over the eye. My base is not sticky, but that's laying down nicely. So it's nice and a nice and soft tone to it. I mean, you know, a nice and soft sheen to it. It's not um, high shine. Next here, go back with my Wayne Goss number four, tap it into the Date Eyes. Um, date enhance shade and take that up there so that's pretty right there I'm gonna go in next with day eyes enhance and what I'm gonna do for this I am gonna put some glitter glue down just to make sure that I get the pop that I'm looking for and then place this all the way up this is like a rose gold And lay that right in top, in top, in the center. That is beautiful. But it gives you that nice dimension on the lid. So it makes the center of your eyes like stand out. Very pretty. So I'm going back with my Wayne Goss number four into um, Day Smoke. Putting this into the crease more. I was going to try to add some blue in here somehow, but I think I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to use a number four brush still, add a little bit more product on it, and sweep it under the lash line, lower lash line. All right, guys, I can't help it. I'm going to go in with the black. I want a little bit more depth. It's getting some good depth with just building that um day smoke on top of each other you know building it on top of itself but i'm gonna go into disco smoke and just add a little bit on this on my outer v now you could have left the look the way it was hopefully i don't regret this but just wanted to add a little bit something extra so this is like a build up black it's not like so highly pigmented and intense that you could ruin your look if you take a light hand in it and pat it on you're not going to get like an intense deposit of color at once so some people like that I think it's I like both ways I like it to be you know full-on intensity sometimes and then sometimes I'm cool with the shade a black particularly that you want to you know build up slowly okay and so for the inner corner I'm going in with the Delium Tool 773 Diva Eyes Prime shade and I'm going to use this on the inner corner all right so the the prime shade seem like they have a little bit more sparkle to them so I'm kind of like pressing this in to the inner corner not doing too much of a sweeping because I don't want to get a lot of fallout. But these have a lot more glitter than the other ones. So we got that little hint there. We're going to see how this looks on the brow bone. We're done with this eye. I'm going to do the other eye off camera. Alright, I'll see you soon. Alright guys, so here are the eyes done. Let me get a little bit closer for you. All right, so that's that. I think they're really pretty. I really like it, and this whole makeup look is just really beautiful. So apparently Charlotte Tilbury came out with a new lip product called Latex Love, and it's a gloss. Um, long-lasting, intense, long-lasting, long-lasting, intense lip gloss that gives you instant latex lips. And I love a shiny lip, guys. Y'all already know. All right, so I picked up the shade Dirty Dancer. Dirty Dancer. I feel I felt like this one would look good on my skin tone. The other ones looked a little bit brighter. I mean lighter. Um, but it's looking a little bit more orangey toned. Uh, like an orangey. Like pinky. I don't know. We'll see. The heck is that smell? Here it is. I mean it looks like a nice highly pigmented gloss. Similar to like my Milani and stuff. How those are really nice rich in pigment. I 
I don't know about the smell though. It smells funny. It feels nice. Um, yeah, the tone is not as pink as I would have liked. I thought it was going to be more of like a rosy. It's not bad, but it's just not the tone that I was expecting when I picked this up. This smells like some sort of spice. <laughs> like, in a lot of companies now, they make them smell like cake or just have no fragrance at all. All right, so here, it, here are the lips, okay? Um, the formula is very nice. It is hydrating. It's high shine, as you can see, and the pigmentation is there. So if you're looking for a highly pigmented gloss, then there you go. But as I talked to you guys about in my favorites video, Milani has some very nice pigmented glosses as well. So just FYI there. There is a, a smell to it. It's not your typical smell like you might experience with Milani or with um, Pat McGrath or with ABH. This has like a very, <laughs> I don't know. It's not a sweet smell at all. It's like I said, it smells like some, maybe a spice or an essential oil, some type of felt smell like that. And it's not like unbearable, but it is there. You can smell it. So um, just FYI on that the color is cool. I think it looks fine with the eye look So but I was thinking of something or expecting something to be a bit more mauve a bit more um, Yeah, mauve Pinky toned nude versus this these eyes girl This is what I was wanting from that pillow talk palette. Okay, so I'm very happy that I picked this up I think it's like $65 don't bother with the pillow talk thing, okay? Just get this. I think, but then I'll, uh, then again, um, I think the issue I had, not I think, the issue I had was with this shade here, which is a pop shade. She calls it her pop tone, okay? Um, her pop type of formula. So, and there aren't any of those formulas in this palette. So I think that may be another reason why I like this a lot more than this. So if I could go back again, I would not pick this up and I would just spend the extra 10, 12, 15 dollars, whatever it is to get this palette. Very good. Very good. You saw how they performed on the eyes, the mattes. There's only three mattes in this palette. Well, actually, I think they're like might be a little bit more satin toned or satin formula. But this shade here, the Diva Smoke, the no the disco smoke the diva smoke and the day smoke this one is very nice to be used on its own in the crease to deepen up your crease to um, deepen up your outer v and it builds up very nicely as well so you can get a light wash with it or you can build that up by continuing to you know just layer it you know what i mean and then of course this one is really good it needs to be built up though it's not like a full-on intense black like my um, Kevin Aquan emphasize that I did last week it should be last week so yeah but all these emphasize or is it emphasize or enhanced shades in the middle I mean I used I used shades out of every row the info the enhanced shades are really pretty from the ones that I've tried and then the swatches that I've done they look really pretty as well and then these the first row which is called the prime th those are the prime shades uh, those seem to be a little bit more sparkly a little bit more um, glittery so you'll want to use like a sticky base and kind of like press it in versus doing a wiping motion so that you don't get a lot of fallout um, so those are my first impressions with this palette. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy my content and you want to see more from me, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to be notified when I upload my videos three to four times a week, definitely hit that notification bell and set up your settings and you'll be all set. All right, I will be talking to you guys really, really soon. Thank you so much for watching. See ya.